there, I'm Carrie Summer from The Summer Home. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is all about decorating small bedrooms. I'm sharing creative ways to transform your small bedroom into a stylish and cozy retreat. Whether you're working with limited space or just looking for fresh ideas, these decorating tips will help you make the most of your bedroom and make it feel larger and more inviting. I will be placing links in the description of the video below so you can easily shop the spaces that I'm sharing today. I will also be linking to other blog posts and videos that you may find helpful. Before we get started, I wanted to quickly mention that every one of us is going to have a differing opinion on what is considered a small bedroom. I would consider our primary bedroom small at 12 feet by 14 feet, but I wanted to know if that was indeed considered small. So I went on Google and what I found was the typical primary bedroom size is 14 by 16 feet. So ours is indeed small in comparison to that. You may not consider this small and that is definitely okay, but I just wanted to let you know that the size of our bedroom is what this video is going to be based off of today. All right, now that I've got that disclaimer out of the way, I think we should get started. And the first tip that I'm going to share today is gonna to sound a little bit counterintuitive and it has to do with area rugs. And that tip is to add a large rug to your bedroom. I realize, like I just said, this sounds counterintuitive, but adding a large rug will make your room appear wider. With that being said, here are a few tips to keep in mind. Center the rug under the bed and make sure it's symmetrical in relation to the bed and the room. This creates a cohesive and balanced look. A rug should be large enough to extend beyond the edges of the bed. A common approach is to have the rug extend at least 18 to 24 inches on each side and at the foot of the bed. And you will want a space of around 6 to 12 inches between the edge of the rug and the wall for smaller rooms. This will maximize floor space and keep the room feeling more cohesive. This range also allows for a visually pleasing border of floor space around the rug, which can help the room feel balanced and more spacious. My next tip is to add a focal point. One way to do this is by using vertical space. You can hang artwork or decorative elements high on the wall to draw your attention upward. By drawing the eye up, you emphasize the room's height, making it feel more expansive. You could also use the bed as a focal point. Invest in a stylish headboard or an upholstered one to draw attention to the bed. By making the bed the focal point, the room's design is anchored around it, which can make this space feel more organized and intentional. The central focus helps avoid visual clutter, making the room also feel more spacious. All right, moving on to the next tip, which is to pay attention to the placement of your window treatments. By placing the curtain rod near the ceiling, you extend the vertical lines of the room. This makes the room appear taller than it actually is. And this vertical emphasis helps balance the proportions of a small room, making the ceiling feel higher and the space feel more expansive. This can also maximize light. When drapery panels are hung high and wide, they can be fully drawn back to let in the maximum amount of natural light. And more light helps the room feel airy and open. Curtains that are mounted high also avoid blocking any part of the window, which allows more light to penetrate and creates a brighter, more open feel. I also recommend extending your curtain rod beyond the window frame to the left and the right, which will also give the illusion of a larger window and a broader view. I have more precise details regarding how much space to add to both the sides and the top of the drapery panels in a detailed blog post that I will put in the description of the video below. Okay, the next tip that I have that you can use when decorating a small bedroom is to integrate layered storage pieces. This could be something small like storage on a nightstand or in a basket or something larger like a storage bed. Both are going to be helpful for different reasons, obviously. I love adding a large basket when room permits next to a dresser in a small bedroom. Baskets are perfect for storing extra bedding when you don't have a linen closet. And open baskets are nice to use when you are storing pretty things. And when you aren't, go for a lidded basket. This isn't in my bedroom, but it definitely could be. This basket is used to store all of my workout equipment and my shoes. So when I'm not using it, it is stored away in a piece of functional decor, which I love. If you have shelves on your nightstand, style a basket or baskets for storage on them. You can also style a basket or a set of stacking baskets under a nightstand that doesn't have shelving, which I also love. My dresser obviously adds a lot of built-in storage already, but I don't stop there. 
I add decorative boxes on top for even more storage. I use stacking boxes in almost every room in my home because I love that they double as decor and extra storage. Next, I want to talk about our storage bed. This was definitely a splurge, and I will say after having it for a bit that it was 100% worth it. It has three built-in storage drawers, one on each side of the bed and one at the foot of the bed. And you guys, the one at the foot of the bed is huge. We use the drawers for storing all of our extra bedding, pillows, blankets, etc. But if you don't have a lot of extra bedding like I do, you could easily use these drawers for seasonal clothing instead. It's the most perfect bed for small spaces. And when the drawers are all closed, you would have zero idea that this was a storage bed. But if splurging on a new bed isn't in the budget right now for you, we used to use our under bed space for storing our bedding and it worked out great. I do highly recommend getting some of these bedding organizers though. That way you can neatly organize your extra bedding and label them before storing them under the bed. And this way they are protected from dirt and dust. And when tucked neatly under the bed, nobody will know the difference. All right, moving on to my next tip, and that's to keep decor minimal. When you have a small bedroom, you want to remove clutter and keep things simple. On our dresser here, you will notice that it doesn't have a bunch of decor. I kept it to just three items, a vase filled with stems, leaning artwork, and a table lamp. And same with my bedside table. I have a lamp, my alarm clock, and one decorative piece. Here's another example, a basket, some books, a small dish, lamp, and a decorative object. Here's another dresser example for you. Just three objects is all that's needed. By the way, adding a mirror above a dresser is another great way to make the space appear larger. The next thing that I wanna talk about is furniture. When you are decorating a small bedroom, go for more minimalist furniture. And minimalist doesn't have to mean modern in design. It's just that small rooms are not meant for oversized chairs or giant beds. Purchase a small accent chair instead of a large, overstuffed one. Choose a dresser that is narrow in size and doesn't stick out too far into the room. And here's another tip. Choose multifunctional furniture when designing a small bedroom space. A good example of this would be using a desk as both a workspace as well as a nightstand. And my last tip is a big one, my friends. And that is to embrace the coziness of your small space. You know what we have that people with oversized bedrooms don't? built-in coziness. Small bedrooms just are cozier to start with, so embrace it. Add texture through throw pillows, bedding, and other textiles like throw blankets. Layering bedding with various materials like cotton sheets, fluffy duvets, and textured throw blankets adds a visual complexity, and the different textures create a dynamic look that draws the eye in and adds warmth. By the way, I have videos and blog posts that I will link in the description below where I go into more details on how to layer the perfect bed for coziness. Layered lighting is another way to amp up the coziness of your small bedroom. I recommend three different lighting sources for your room. This could be a combination of sconces, table lamps, overhead lighting, and floor lamps. Combining different types of lighting adds depth and dimension to the space, which creates a more dynamic and visually interesting space. And light from different sources adds layers and shadows that just enhance the room's texture and warmth, making it feel even more inviting and comfortable. Also, layering lighting can make a room feel spacious and less flat as well. By creating different zones of light, you can guide the eye and enhance the perception of space. And distributing light sources throughout the room helps avoid dark corners and uneven lighting, which can make a space feel cramped and less inviting. All right, let's summarize. Here are my tips. First, add a large rug to your bedroom, even if you have carpet. Secondly, add a focal point. This could be artwork or even your bed. Number three, pay attention to how you hang your window coverings. Four, integrate layered storage. This could be storage furniture, decorative storage, baskets, and bins. Number five, keep decor minimal. Number six, be mindful of not putting oversized pieces of furniture into your small bedroom. And number seven, the most important of all, embrace the coziness of your small space. All right, my friends, thank you so much for watching. And as always, if you liked this video and found it helpful, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. And as I mentioned before, I will be linking different ways that you can shop my home in the description of the video below. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, bye.